Okay, guys, it's Nas Ross and Gandhi. Starting to my up uh, my Revolution Three game right here with my uh, yeah. You can't you can barely see this, but it's a GameCube controller because that's the way I play GameCube controller. And uh, this game pretty awesome. And uh, I think I'm gonna do a review right now on what's in the game and how it's played and shit. No, well, not how it's played. You can figure that shit out by yourself. But like. Sorry about the camera, it's just screwing up right here. Uh, let me just fix this right now. Alright, so, pretty much, like, let me just say something about this game. Fucking awesome. And the reasons why it's awesome is, number one, this game's story mode sticks... It, it, it sticks true to the anime somewhat. It doesn't go to, like all the parts of the anime and it has a few, few flaws all right let's just uh go into this and see what we can do all right first of all hold on i'm just gonna go to the shop real quick as you can see uh in the shop let's turn this up all right i'm in the shop right now and uh i have like a couple characters i have to unlock like uh, Kakuzu, uh, Bondo, and um, Ambu Ambu Kakashi. So I'm just going on Kakuzu right now. Sweet. Fucking awesome. And of course, I'm probably going to get that whole thing where it says um, unlock new items. Okay, maybe I didn't. Okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know why it happened. Alright, let's just go over here real quick, just, just to look at the um, character roster. Let me just do a one player battle real quick. Singles. My roster is not complete yet, I still have two more characters unlocked, two more. So you know, Kakuzu right there, and there's my man Hidan, yeah, fucking awesome. Th th those two are in the game as well as Sasuke. They, those were the recently announced characters, and we also got uh, Sai, Yamato, those are in there. What I don't like is that like, they don't have um, Four Tail Naruto, that would be fucking awesome if they did have that, but uh, you know, they don't. Alright, let me just say this right here. One of like the worst characters you can play as, right here, Granny Chio. She sucks. Like, her puppets is like the only thing they can attack. That's horrible. Alright. So pretty much like the story mode of this game, like I was saying, it's pretty basic. Um, you know your average stuff. Um, oh, his, his voice sounds awesome. Uh, and um, the gameplay sticks true. Yep, that's uh, that's that's Green Jow's voice actually from the uh, show. Should I raise this? Nah, that's cheating. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> I don't give a crap. Um, but, uh, six really true, and, uh, gameplay is pretty solid with all the controllers. I play with the Wii remotes, the GameCube controller, and the, uh, Nunchuck. Pretty fucking awesome. I haven't played with the, uh, Classic controller. I, I don't have that. But, um... Yeah, let me just play through this battle and talk about it while I'm battling. Alright. So, like, the battle in this game... Pretty awesome. I love his voice. Wow, it's all awesome. Let's just see how he plays. Right now, I'm, like, difficulty 3, so I don't know if this is easy for me or not. It's pretty easy, but, um... Speaking of difficulty, one of the things about the story mode that I fucking hate, ah, oh, crap, um, is like the last battle of the story mode, which a lot of people had trouble with, um, it's the battle with Daedara. Um, that's like the battle that's been pissing a lot of people off. Uh, I know one person out there, like you, Jordan, you, um, you, you didn't have much trouble, you know, beating him. And that's great and all, but like a lot of us really have had troubles with him, and you know, it's kind of getting us pissed off. But I beat him, and you know, whatever. It's no big deal right now. 
Let me see this. Ah, oh, man. I need to work my time. Um, so, like... That caught my ass. Alright, I'm sorry. I'm just losing track of time and shit. Uh... Like I said, the um, battles are pretty freaking awesome. I like the um, the way everything's set up. It's set up normally, pretty much. <laughs> the character flaws, as I said, Chio fucking sucks. Pretty much like that. Let me just do this. Sasuke versus Itachi, nice one. Um, the Wi-Fi battles on this. I mean, I mean, actually, let me let me just show you the Wi-Fi battles if I can. Uh, let me just randomly go on to the Wi-Fi connection, and let's see, let's just see what I can uh, do. If I can find a real quick battle with somebody, and let's check out what, what the lag is like. Lag is sometimes like really bad, but most of the time it's you know not that bad, not not that bad at all. Oh, sorry. Um, a random battle doesn't matter. Singles. Uh, the graphics. Uh, for the Wii, they're not, like, top-notch, okay? They're not, like, the best. Like, some of the Mario games are, like, the top-notch graphics. But, like, the graphics in this game are pretty, pretty good. Especially, like, when you're, uh, busting out combos with your, uh, with your character. Um, and battles. It's pretty fucking solid, I'd say. I, um, really like it. Oh yeah, I, I really like playing as Tashi. He's like my best character, and uh, you know the the movements are kind of fluid. They're not the best, but you know they're they're pretty good. Um, now the only thing I don't like about this game is pretty much like the way you unlock characters. Oh shit, they're good. All right, as you can see, this is like a Wi-Fi battle, and there is no lag. All right, this is like one of those times where there is no lag. I know, guys. I suck. You don't have to tell me twice. <laughs> and that's the end of that. I should just quit, but let's just finish this off. Um, as I said, everything is pretty much good in this game in terms of like the characters and uh, gameplay, the story mode. Pretty basic, you know, just for a uh, game. It just, um. I, um, just wish that the story mode would actually be more intu intuitive, like an RPG, instead of just, um, being the standby type of, uh, story mode where it's just like you're, um, watching dialogue and, um, battling. Oh, wait, wait, hold on, you guys. Really quick, end of the video. Let's just go on to this. Um, you've heard people bitch and moan and bitch and moan. Now, let's actually see, because I am I stopped playing. Because I beat him the first time, and then I went I went through story mode again, and I, I, I still got stuck. So let's just see, really quick, me, fight, me fighting Daydara in the story mode. Because this shit is just impossible. I swear to you. I I needed to get away and all. All right, let's just see. I thought I'd win because I saw it was not. It was one tail with Naruto versus Adara. I was like, oh shit, I'm gonna win because I'm great with one tail with Naruto. But the opposite was true. Now let's just see what happens. Right off the bat, he just starts throwing out those fucking bombs, kicking your ass. Try to get him with the down. That's that's pretty much like the best way to get him. It would be like the best thing in the world if I actually beat him right now. Probably kind of be like really ironic, but there's no way. Yeah, I'm I'm almost done, you guys. He, yeah, he's he pretty much got me. I'm I'm done. As you can see, mission failed. All right, I'm not gonna go any farther because this video is going on way too long. So um. Yeah, this is pretty much like the whole thing about the story mode. 
uh, gameplay, Wi-Fi battles, this fucking hard-ass battle between Daydara, and, you know, everything in between. So let me just uh, throw this off with the notes and just say that this game, Ultimate Ninja Revolution 3, I mean, not Ultimate Ninja, I'm so stupid, um, Clash of Ninja Revolution 3 for the Wii, Okay, don't know whose voice that was, but, um, this game, in my opinion, gets a fucking, uh, mm, uh let's get like 8.5 out of 5. <laughs> Sorry, 8.5 out of 10. Alright, 8.5, because, you know, the characters, fucking awesome, the battle's awesome, but the way you unlock the characters, it takes a fucking eternity just to unlock a character, and that's something they definitely did not need in this game. So, I'll, I'll check you guys later, and uh, stay gold.